Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So you may have noticed in one of my previous videos that the New Holland tractor is missing its front fenders. There's a reason for that. I do have them, they're right over there. And I was hoping that I could do something about that in this video. Let me show you what we're dealing with. So as you can see, these are rusted quite badly. This one has been repaired once before. This one actually still functions, but this one, which isn't as rusted, it has broken here. And so I'm thinking I'll do a repair in somewhat of the method that I have done on the other fender there. Try to do the same on this right here. Ideally, they could use new brackets, what you want to call them, braces maybe. I found the fenders themselves, you can buy these, but I didn't find this part. It's going to be easier to repair this before it breaks. That one's broken, so we need to find the shape that it's supposed to be in. Alright, so what I'll try to do in order to kind of keep the fender shape, since it's broken, I'll try to put a strap around it to bend it to where it's supposed to be, and then we can put in a patch here, yeah? I think I need to cut this part out because I'm not able to get them to meet properly. Give me more room to position this. All right, now this should be a little bit easier. It's gonna be about there. Okay, so I need to keep it like this while I weld. That's gonna be fun. Let's uh, prep this area and then we'll take it from there. I'm gonna attach into this thick steel here and then over to that. See if we can find something in the scrap pile here to make that patch with. This looks perfect for that. There's not much curve going on here. Well, that's a little bit. I'll clean this up and try to bend it in the vise. I'll try to match the curvature of this. I'm not gonna get it exact, but I'll try at least. It's just gonna be by eye. That's gonna be good. Let's uh, clean it up a bit and tack it in place on this side first. Then I'll try my best to get this lined up. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. That was really difficult. <laughs> okay, so. So it does seem like I bent it a little much as there's a gap there, but at least it's kind of, it's uh, straight. This side is mostly parallel to the other side. So at least I got that right, but it's a bit too much. The angle is too aggressive. I think it's gonna be fine. If not, I might be able to just bend it back a little bit if it's touching the wheel or anything. So I'm just gonna weld it up like this and then we'll install it and see. I had to hold the fender while also welding with the other hand. So um, I needed to keep it kind of straight. Uh, yeah, it was not great, but given the circumstances, I'm quite happy with it. I think it'll work out. So my welds aren't great right now on that. I mean, not that they're usually great, but I do tend to do it a little bit better than what you just saw. Hopefully we can make up for it in the next welds where I can use both hands and don't have to 
kind of hold the thunders and stuff. So let's uh, weld it up, see how it goes. Yeah. Not the greatest weld I've done. There's a few areas that I didn't manage to close the gap even though the weld pool was in it. Apparently I didn't put in enough or maybe I should have done a second pass but I've basically welded all throughout it now. I know that I'm not a great welder so if I just weld 10 times more than a professional welder would have done and 10% of it is good enough then maybe it'll hold. I don't think it's going to be a problem but time will tell. All right, so that's done. I think the rest of this is gonna be just fine. It seems okay, it's not great, but it's a lot better than the other one. I'm just gonna put it on like this. I think this is decent enough to where I can apply some fluid film to it, some of that thick stuff, and just try to keep it greased up and hopefully it'll last. Even though it's quite exposed, that thick stuff is very sticky. If I'm just rigorous enough with uh, reapplying that stuff, maybe two times per winter or something, and just keep it greased up, I think it'll hold for quite a while. I'm gonna call this done now, we're gonna test fit it. But before we can test fit it, I need to clean out these bolts. Actually, I might have to get some new ones because these are completely... I'll see if I have new ones. If not, I'm gonna have to just try to clean them up and uh, find a nut for them because I lost the nuts. I lost my nuts. Let's see if maybe I have something like this. That one's too big. That one's a bit small. This one might work. It's a bit finer thread on this. This is the one we just did. And um, this is the other one. As you can see, it's just completely gone. All, all of this. but there's not much weight on this side. So I think I'm just gonna put them on like this and I'm gonna shop around for some used fenders for this tractor. There's a lot of tractors that use these same fenders so it's kind of weird that the parts store doesn't have them. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully they will last through winter and then during that time I can shop around and see if I can find something used instead. But in order to mount them, I need some new bolts because they're completely rusted out. So I went and got these. These are M14 with a locking nut, nylon locking nut, also got locking washers. I didn't really need those, but it was the only washers that he had that would fit properly. At least we have some new bolts that we can use. They might be too long. They were a bit longer than the original ones, but maybe it'll be fine. Otherwise, we'll just have to cut them. Just to be safe, I got the ones that were just a bit longer. Before we mount anything, we'll be coating this with this stuff right here. Tried to find this on Amazon, but the only ones I could find was that regular, like the fluid film that you spray on. So anyway, we're gonna put this stuff onto these fenders. We'll see how it holds up. If I can find this stuff, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can go and buy it. All coated up with fluid film, gel BN. So what I like to do when I apply it is to kind of work it into all the small crevices and cracks and stuff like that. Especially on welds, I like to kind of work it in like this to get a nice coating, especially with this thicker stuff. And then, if you want to be really thorough, you'll spray it with that nest stuff afterwards. But I'm not going to do that on these pieces. 
I just thought I'd let you know. I'll cover the new bolts in fluid film as well and then we'll try to mount these onto here now. I'll put some fluid film on this bracket as well just to keep it from seizing up. In order to access this a little bit better I'm going to raise the loader as far as I can inside of the workshop here. And then we'll mount this and see how the one we repaired fits onto the tractor and how it kind of fits around the wheel and stuff. So I just barely scraped by this brace I've put in here. All right, so this gives us a lot better access to this. We'll uh, put some fluid film on there. The bolts are fine in length, I don't have to cut them off. The fender is on, it's wide up top there and then it narrows down. They did do that originally too, but not this much. There is space, just barely enough. I'm not sure how that will play out when you're driving. We'll leave it like that for now. I'm going to mount this side and then we can compare and see what we need to adjust afterwards. So this side has substantially more clearance, we have clearance Clarence. than the other side. I'll try to bend it a little bit. So that helped a lot. Got plenty of clearance here now. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? So yeah, I'm quite happy with how that turned out. Our repair seems to be working just fine and hopefully they will last until I can find some used replacements. That's my hope, but we'll just have to see. Growing up I was a weird kid. See no matter what I ever did, all the normal guys would never quit. Poking fun at me. Mama tried to make me regular. She said the Lord above was testing her. As I grew more and more peculiar, unashamedly. When people say that I'm a strange duck, I tell them maybe so, but so what? Sure, I'm a